An Oakland County businessman is accused of forging deeds and selling, stealing houses from a Detroit woman. Our investigation put him right into the Fox 2 Hall of Shame, and now he's on trial in Wayne County. Our own Rob Olchuk is here now live to tell us more. Rob. I had a few run-ins with Jack B. Wolf. He liked to call me a hack reporter. Okay, you got taken down by a hack, Jack, and a victim who didn't give up. I thank the court for taking the time to hear personally the heartache that was caused by Jack B. Wolf. Donna Alford is bringing down a bully. This guy, Jack Wolf, ex-lawyer, now convicted felon. We just ask that you not put the camera in his face. It's sensing day and Jack is going down hard. The home that she grew up in, you stole it. Finally ending a nightmare Donna and her family have lived for years. The court has to consider your brashness, your cold-heartedness when coming up with an appropriate sentence. This all started because a dead person can't sign a deed. In late 2020, Donna Alford told me her father's house had been left to her when he died, but... The deed had been changed. And they said my dad had signed the deed. Someone had stolen the home. Donna had proof the signature on the quick claim deed was a forgery. It was signed supposedly by her father, George Booth, in 2017. But George Booth had been dead for two years when the deed was signed. Donna also had another home left to her, which had also been quick claim deeded to a third party. This deed had her forged signature on it. Both deeds have been prepared by a man Donna had never even heard of, Jack B. Wolf, an ex-lawyer with a history of shady business dealings. So you're just a totally innocent party here? I, I didn't say that. The houses had been deeded to dummy companies. Both deeds were notarized by Jack's alleged partner in the scheme, Cordia Pennington. Channel 2, I mean, I'm not being on TV or nothing like that, am I? Another person Donna had never heard of. I confronted both Jack and Cordia. I don't know what's going on about something that was notarized, and that was two years ago, and I try to remember. I okay, so, the, so this is this is this is the paper, right? Yeah. And see, you notarized it in 2017. Well, that's I your notary know. stamp, right? And that's your signature. Yes. I aired my story in February 2021. Both Jack and Cordia played dumb in it, but both were charged criminally shortly after. Last summer, Cordia Pennington pled guilty to four felonies related to Donna's deeds. Jack Wolf decided to take his chances and go to trial. Jack didn't want a jury to decide his case. He wanted Wayne County Circuit Judge Kevin Cox to decide his guilt or innocence. Jack looks pretty confident as he and his attorney, Adam Clement, stroll into the bench trial. Donna takes the stand and says not only were the deeds changed, but locks were changed as well. There were people there working on the house okay. that stated that they were there because somebody they worked for was named Jack. Donna's daughter, Rhonda, testifies she discovered the deeds. The deed purports to be drafted by a, a Jack Wolf. Had you ever heard of Jack Wolf prior to the coming to court? Never heard of him before in my life. Also testifying is Von Zina Shabazz, who claimed the same thing happened to her. She discovered a property she'd inherited had been quit claim deeded under her nose to a company allegedly controlled by Jack Wolf. Did you, Mrs. Shabazz, sign that quit claim deed? No, I didn't. There's a signature that purports to be yours on there. Is that your signature? It looks like it's my signature, but I didn't sign this paper. Did you appear before the notary listed on there, Cordia Pennington? No, I don't even know who this is. Wayne County deed fraud investigator Mary Williams Jones says all the dirty deed roads lead to Jack. There is a signature line on the bottom of the document that indicates who um, filed the document. Is that correct? Yes. And what is that name? Jack Wolf. Prosecutor LaToya Willis rests her case. Jack doesn't take the stand nor offer any witnesses in his defense. He's found guilty on all counts. Two counts of forgery of a document to affect real property and two counts of uttering and publishing. Which brings us to the sentencing and Donna's victim impact statement and how her childhood home, a gift to her and her family by her loving dad, 
was snatched in a scheme with Jack Wolf's paws all over it. When I found that Jack B. Wolf, who is now convicted, had carelessly stolen in the most heartbreaking way ever by stating that my father, well, after he had been deceased, had signed over to him his precious home. This reopened the wound that was not yet healed. No tears from Jack. What you did in this case was heartless, callous, conniving, and calculated to, for all intents and purposes, steal two homes from Ms. Alford. Judge Kevin Cox says prison is well-deserved for Wolf. It is a sentence of this court that you are to serve no less than one year and no more than 14 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections. After court, Donna says Jack Wolf belongs in state prison. I hope it treats him just as dirty as he's been. One more thing. Jack B. Wolf and Cordelia Pennington in the Hall of Shame. <laughs> hey, that's my line. You're in the Hall of Shame. Now, Donna was not happy that Jack Wolf wasn't taken immediately into custody. He's on a tether and must report to the Wayne County Jail by April 26. Jack's lawyer, Adam Clements, said he and his client disagree with the court on the verdict and filed a motion to reconsider. He says, quote, we look at the evidence totally differently, but we respect the process nonetheless, and we're hopeful that we'll be successful in appeal. Ruben Taren? So have the deeds to the house has actually been put into, into Donna's name just yet, or are we wait? So that's one of the amazing things. The, the deeds are still not in Donna's name. So she's working with the prosecutors, and she's working in the courts. But right now, those houses that were given to her back in 2015 are still, she can't sell them, she can't fix them up, she can't take out loans on them because they're in somebody else's name but but it, it'll soon be changed he's been convicted and they're taking care of it but it's a lot of work and a lot yes. of hassle and she's a great lady for fighting so hard oh yes and you certainly help speed up the process so say. great job there thank you holding them responsible